So, how you doing? It's Jared. This knife here embodies my idea of Spyderco, right? Because I like different knife companies for different reasons, and Spyderco is the company that I look for for attainable craziness, right? Craziness that I can afford. And this knife here just is perfect example for that. This is an Endura 4 with the Damascus, the DPS VG10 Damascus blade and titanium handle, right? You're probably familiar with the Endura 4. It's kind of one of their bread and butter knives. It's a beater knife, right? And this knife here goes for about under $200. I think it's got an MSRP about 300 bucks, but that's Spider Co. They always mark their MSRPs up all crazy. This knife is just fantastic. And I love the fact that they came out with a Damascus blade user knife. Now I have a feeling that a lot of these knives are gonna go into collections. And again, it's just because it is obtainable. It's not $1,500, it's not $1,000 for a titanium knife with a Damascus blade. It's under 200 bucks. So you're gonna be paying like $180 for this thing. And so I have a feeling a lot of these are gonna go into collections. But at the same time, while some of those people who have the craving to carry a Damascus blade now have the option to do that without having to pay those crazy prices. You know, it's, it's a obtainable anybody not anybody you know this is you know you can still get a hold of this thing and i really like the fact that the company themselves did that they came up they actually came out with this knife and i think it's excellent because if you're familiar with the San Mai series of steels, that's kind of what this is. It's a laminated steel blade with the Damascus outer cladding on a VG10 core. You can actually see that VG10 core going down the center. And I don't know whether it's a stainless the cladding or it's actually a high carbon cladding, whether or not it's going to rust very easily or not. I don't actually know. I've sent an email to to Spyderco, and when I get an answer from them, I'll set up an annotation here to let you actually know. I'll put it down in the description. Um, but right now, I'm not sure. I do have a suspicion that it is probably a damascus steel. It is probably stainless, just because there's not a whole lot of variance in color between the actual VG10 core itself and the whatever the darker material is that's actually in there to make that that the Damascus itself, there isn't a whole lot of variance. And if it was a high carbon, I suspect that they would be a little bit darker unless they did something special in their etching process, which I don't suspect they did because there's a couple things to this knife which do suggest cutting to make that price point. You know, they did relax on a few things to actually suit this price point. And one of the thing, things that I'm talking about is the actual finish on this knife. If you're familiar with the stainless steel Endura, right? I've seen an example, I've only seen one example of the stainless Endura, but it had the same fit, which was basically perfect. You can see this fit between the actual scales there. And it's, this is a great example between the difference in color of titanium and steel, because you can see that that variance there there's no felt transition but you can see the difference in the actual color it's got the exact same finish and that's just a cool thing but you come down to this end here and it's just rounded off and it's just it's not finished very well you can see it's squared off it's it's got that that trend you know the square transition coming around that corner there the same thing up at the front here it's just not quite symmetrical it's not perfect there's a scratch here which actually did come out of the box and i don't know what this is whether or not this material is there i haven't been able to remove it it's in the uh the back section here as well you can see that marking there so it didn't come absolutely perfect out of the box which is something you would expect from a knife that you're paying six seven hundred dollars for that's got a titanium handle and a damascus blade but this knife is sub 200 bucks with those features and so i do think that they relaxed that you know it's not necessarily that they relaxed it's just that they didn't go the extra step this is at that same step as a stain, you know, it's finished to the same specifications as the stainless steel Endura. It's just got these extra features to it, which is awesome. You know what I mean? How cool is the fact that they did this? You know, I really like that they did this knife. And honestly, when I first bought this, when I purchased this knife, I did buy this knife to put it on my wall. I was gonna get this one and I was gonna get the Delica and I was gonna stick them on my wall, make a little mount, and I thought it was gonna be really pretty. But I got it and I thought about it. This isn't a sprint run knife. This is a production knife. They're gonna be producing thousands of these things, right? Why not carry it? 
I honestly believe that the reason they designed this knife, the reason they came out with this knife is to enable people. The reason it's a production knife is the, to enable people to carry a Damascus knife, to have this sort of high-end carry. Because it's in the same class of high-end carry as like the Sabenza here, right? But it's got different features. It's in this class for a different reason. The Sabenza is there because it's, it's neat and it's fine and it's really expensive. This knife costs less than half of what the Svenza does, but it's in that same class. It's in that same class to steal a term from nothing fancy of high-end carry. And so I really just love the fact that they made it, you know? It, it, Spyderco is just an awesome company, and it's an excellent knife. The Endura series is a is the one of their bread and butter knives for a reason, you know what I mean? They it's an excellent edge. I mean, it's a great working edge. It's a, I love the full flat grind. It's got a 3.8 inch blade. I think it's like a 3.5 inch cutting edge. And so it's an excellent knife. You've got a decent amount of potential with it. And with that VG10 core, you're going to be able to, you know, get a decent amount of work done before you ever have to resharpen this knife. VG10 is an excellent steel and it is decently stainless. And so I don't know with actually with that, how long this oxide coating is going to stay on there. You can see I've got a little bit of wear that was cutting through a box and then there's a little bit scratches down here this is just from using it just a little bit um, and so I don't think it's gonna hold up extremely well that coating is gonna come off with use but I mean that's kind of expected it is just a black oxide coating and I mean I can just dip this in a vat of muriatic acid let it sit there for 20 minutes and then probably have a deep, deeper etch than actually what's on here now which I can feel but not crazily it's not the deepest transition when i pull out a microscope i can actually see not a microscope but a magnifying glass i can actually see the transitions here but i can't see them with my naked eye but they can be felt i can definitely feel the transitions in the material and it's not necessarily the depth of the etch itself it's just the oxide coating to the smooth finish of the actual you know the silver steel opposed to the blackened steel you can feel the differences in the material itself you can feel the differences in that actual finish and that's what leads to the texture of the knife itself and so it still feels cool it's still really nice to feel this thing in sunlight is absolutely beautiful i love that ricasso area it's just all crazy and swirled around can you tell where this knife is made you probably already know but can you tell where it's made i'll shine a light on it here It's hidden. There it is. Seeky City. It's hidden. There it is. Shine some light on it. That's how it works in my vision, too. Actually sitting here in person, I can't really see that. I can't really make it out. I shine a flashlight on it, and it just shines and pops up. I love the balance point of this knife, opposed to the original Endura as well. The balance point is further back. It's not as far back as the stainless steel model, but it's a little bit... It is further back than the actual F GFN or the uh, FRN model, which I do really actually like. And as well, the finish on this knife is excellent because it's still got a bead blasted finish. But if you're familiar with the, the finish that's on this Sabenza here, this is better. Don't get me wrong. This is better. But it, you can just hear it. I mean, it's... That sounds fantastic in my hand. It feels fantastic, but it scratches very easily. You can see the, the amount of scratches and dings, and I did actually carve my initials into it there. And so it it's it doesn't it beats up a little bit. This knife here doesn't actually do that. I've only been carrying this around for a couple days, but I haven't been nice to it. And there is one singular ding. I've got one little scratch that I did put on it right there, and I have a feeling that was just my pen beating up against it in my pocket. And so. It, it holds a better finish than the, something like on the bead blast on a Sabenza, but it doesn't quite feel as good. It is a little bit more smooth, but I definitely do still think it's pretty. And that, that bead blast of titanium with that gray finish and with the Damascus blade, it just gets a really good aesthetic view overall. I really feel good with this in my pocket. I feel... This, this is a knife that just makes me feel good to carry. It... it um, if you're familiar with Keith Kevin Ken, right? He's got a YouTube channel and he's he's all about what makes him feel good. You know what I mean? What do you carry, what do you have with you that makes you feel good? You know what I mean? That's a big thing on his channel. Check him out. Keith Kevin Ken. He's got a great channel. A lot of really high end knives. If you're a Sabenza fan, check out Keith Kevin Ken. Sabenza's ahoy. 
but it, it, he's all about what you know what makes you happy and this knife here just makes me happy to stick it in my pocket knowing I've got a titanium handle Damascus blade in my pocket it's just one of the coolest things ever and I can do it for under two hundred dollars thank you Spider Co that's it y'all have a good one